I'd been sitting in bed just finding the strength to get my morning cup of tea and I realised that I've never shown you one of the things I love most about living here. And it's that the morning sun, just as it starts to peek over the horizon, is reflected straight onto my father's painting. And it's so pretty, I just lie in bed looking at that. Surely on the days that it happens, it's a good omen. Wow, seems I'm the first one down today. Time for that cup of tea. I'm going to start the day by going out to show you a couple of projects that have been done in the garden by, drumroll, our hidden handyman. Because we have a handyman here, but he's a little bit shy. He doesn't want to be seen on camera, but he has started to work on projects because poor Amory was just trying to do everything. We want him to be able to focus completely on the Grand Salon. So as soon as I've had this cup of tea, we can pop outside and see how the hidden handyman's been getting on. And also I think Kirsty's in the garden today, so we can go and see her. So these gates now close, which is nice. That's, that's new. That's new. <laughs> um, also, he's really, really talented. And this finial, I found in the grass. The finial was in the grass? Yes. Yeah. So he put that back on. Uh, he also painted it. And this looks so much grander with the finial now. The finial was really clever. This is to stop this one from moving. Uh, yes. Put that back in. Okay, so and that we can actually use that now. Yes was broken at the base yes. and just dragging along. It was completely bent and he's fixed it. So we can actually look. It's amazing. Love and it. The design is actually really clever because when this is closed, because of this bit, yes, you can't open the second gate. Once it's closed, that's it. Yeah. It's cool, right? I just, the finial, I can't get over the finial. I can't believe you found it on the ground. Yes. And also we found this. So one of them was already there, the other one was broken. Yes. He fixed that too. Well, I can tell you right now that's going to get broken again. <laughs> because whenever we have to have the huge lorries coming through here, I, they, they'll, they'll push that straight off. But it looks better with it. Well, that's not the only gate he fixed. <laughs> it's another one. The one down here. Mm -hmm. The one that's always been in a terrible state. You mean the one that was off the hinges? Off the hinges, yes. If you just outside the wall. Yes, yes, that's the other one he fixed. <laughs> Kirsty, leave the chickens alone. They look cuter when they're shorter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you pruning the completely dead tree? I was going to have a look at pruning it, yeah. Um, this one, however, it's shedding its bark. And when they start shedding their bark, it's a really bad sign, so. No, it's game over on this one, I can see yeah. that. It was a lovely quince, but it's, quince. it's over. We could always put a new one in. We should. We should. I really liked having that. In autumn, yeah. it was great making that quince paste. That was lovely. So good. We're going to look at the gate fixed oh, by the hidden handyman. They're amazing. You're one of the so few good. people to have seen the face of the handyman. <laughs> <laughs> a secret entity. Maybe he's here, maybe he's not. <laughs> that is a transformation. I know. I wish I could show you all a before and after, but I think I've always been too ashamed to film the before. But this is where I was passing with the digger and the dumper regularly. Just imagine these rusted. They were completely rusty. They were red. And yes, and not there, but one here and one there. <laughs> what a change. He's a genius. Uh, we can't open them now because he's just put it in. He just left. Yeah. Look, he managed He's to cemented in. extract the old middle bit from the bit of concrete that's there. Which <laughs> no! Found. Yeah. So he took it out of there. And then he's just cemented it in. And he made this. Look, he came up with this. This is so clever. I know. And these are Lalande's fourth gates. And these are in a much, much better state than the ones we've just looked at were but you can see what colour they were anyway, and they were completely off. And these are okay because at least they are holding clothes, but in the future he can tackle these as well. I'll have everything really neat and tidy, it'll be lovely. These are the ones that we use to get the big heavy machinery into the woods. You've done it! Yeah, I finished. It's now symmetrical. So the okay. second bed is done. Kirsty and Pavlina made this amazing bed all the way around the chicken pen. And now you've done it on this side as well. It must have been so much work. Yeah, it was. Uh, surprisingly, this part was the easiest one because there was uh, some lining on the ground. We left it for the last part and I was like, okay, okay, we brace ourselves <laughs> to do it. And then it was like, whoo, lifting. Easy. <laughs> we planted all the plants that are going to be like purple, like sage, different types of sage. It's so nice, Pavlina. Yes, they're already digging. 
Is that the peacock? Yeah. Why do they do that? I have no idea. Hmm. They Maybe decided it some... wasn't the color combination that they Maybe wanted. Maybe they didn't like this exact one. <gasps> Brenda uh, gifted us. Oh, and what color are they? Uh, she said maybe pink. So if they're like pink, they will go as purple. Absolutely. I also wanted to tell you, speaking of Brenda, she brought loads and loads of evening dresses for us. Oh, yeah. So this afternoon, we're going to have a I big will. evening dress <laughs> try on <laughs> session. It'll be fun. Also, we planted uh, roses near the big camellia. And this is all David Austin roses. And there's five of them around the Are these the ones that were gifted to us last year, the pale pink ones? Yeah, the pale pink. They're very, very pretty. That part is also finished, the piece near the door. And there will be hibiscus in the, in the corner. And oh my goodness, we have an escapee. Oh. We have an actual oh, escapee. Beethoven! What? Come here. Oh, this could take some time. <laughs> Get back. Get back. I definitely think she's safer in with the others. Oh, well, that's how she got out. <laughs> yeah, we need to put more chicken wire um, on the like on the side. And... Nothing wrong with our chicken wire. It's our chickens that are too small. <laughs> we need fatter chickens. You can't tame Beethoven. The white one, Olivia, started escaping uh, and she was escaping for the three or four days. After oh, she had been brought. Yes. So she'd escape and then she started running back and forth when she would see me with food. <laughs> I think, why did they do that? Yes, <laughs> I want to get back. I want to go back with the food. So every time I had to go around and like push her back. <laughs> I could watch them for hours. There's the escape artist Olivia with Count Dracula just behind her, which I think is possibly the most ridiculous chicken in our collection of highly ridiculous chickens. Let's see if Count Dracula is going to look up. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the Lord of Darkness. There's the pruning that kirsty has been doing. Luckily, she was pruning the cherry and not the chickens. Actually, whilst I'm out here, I'm going to see if there's any figs left. We have three different fig trees in a row. There's not much left on the first two, but this last one is still absolutely covered. And I see a very tempting looking one just up there. Luckily, a handy ladder has been left. So I don't know if I can climb a fig tree and film at the same time, but we're about to find out. Come to me, my precious. Yes. Hurrah. Oh, it's, it's soft and perfect. I found these. I'm taking them in. I think they might be perfect for a little afternoon snack. You two have been doing the patron cards. Indeed. Fabulous. Oh, I can see you've done it's a lot. Very, very satisfying. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like Christmas decorations. Yeah, look, they're all, all packed, ready yeah. to go for the first one. I can't believe that you've been put to work, Antoine, the minute you get here. I hope you're being richly <laughs> rewarded. Is it? I know. Marie, I'm guessing Marie. it's Marie. Yeah. <laughs> Are you being employed for this? Yes. You're in gainful employment? Yes. And this is going to go towards Nintendo Switch games? Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> nice. It's been a very, very smooth operation so far. So Good to hear it. Wow. I think we're now ready for some cake. Yeah. I like the way you two roll. <laughs> I love it when we have all of the envelopes of the Patreon cards because, of course, they're all to lords and ladies, Mackie and Mackies. And in fact, once our postman said, why is it that everyone you know is nobility? And I had to explain that they're just honorary titles that we have for the tiers of patrons at La Lande. But this week, something very exciting happened here. Philip and I received these certificates in the post, making us an actual lord and lady. Established titles are the sponsors of this week's video and they asked me to make this ad for them. This is one of the most exciting ones I've done so far. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are called lairds or lords in English and ladies. And by buying a one foot parcel of land in Scotland, you can become a lord or a lady. And it's also a really fun way of protecting the environment because for every plot of land they sell, they plant a tree. They work with the charities One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. So it's a really fun way of preserving Scottish woodland and reforestation globally. 
when you buy your one square foot of land in Scotland, you receive this certificate, which is very grand. I just love the language used. Lady Stephanie Jarvis has, in the first year of the reign of our sovereign king, Charles III, accepted a plot of land of precisely one square foot in Scotland. And then there's my identifying plot number. So you can look up on the website and see exactly where the plot of land is. My plot is right next to Philip's. And I've been told that the first 200 people to purchase a title pack using my link in the description box below will have plots adjacent to ours just a few minutes walk away, which means that depending on how many of you want to become lords or ladies, we can build our own little Chateau Diaries kingdom in Scotland. These are official titles, so you can change your name and have Lord or Lady on your credit cards or on your plane tickets, and I think it makes a great last minute gift. I can absolutely see myself getting some of these for Christmas. I mean, Lord Scotman? I can't believe I haven't done it yet. Established Titles is actually running a huge Black Friday sale at the moment, and if you use the code Chateau, you get an additional 10% off. Please go to establishedtitles.com forward slash Chateau to get your gifts now and to help preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland. I just can't wait to see Lord Scotman's face when he opens his at Christmas. And now I want to go and see Kirsty in the garden, but on the way, I am stopping to have a little piece of cake as well. This is the life. And what's been happening in the lovely greenhouse? I love it in here. This is super pretty. So what exactly is happening here? Oh, this is a little water propagation experiment for the courtyard lavender. So they have got roots. They're I can see really, that really they're well. growing roots. Um, I did some in soil and some in water and the water ones have far outperformed the soil ones. So I'm really pleased with those. Brenda bought these boxes with uh, cuttings for me. Um, so I've taken those cuttings out and I've planted them up. Oh, what cuttings were they? We had the eucalyptus. We, this is a different. I love eucalyptus. Your your eucalyptus, I think, is something like a silver dollar or yeah, dollar. Very silvery. Yeah, you've got very very round leaves mm. on it. And this is more like the, the koala food one. The, oh, the lovely yeah. long leaf. That's it. The uh, very long tapered leaves, and oh, they make so much noise eucalyptus. and it, mm. movement. I love them. I'm doing a little bit of garden design at mine at the moment, and I want noise. So I've got noise and colour and smell. So I've got the the backdrop of the acacia to give this the, the smell and the the leaf texture. And definitely got some eucalyptus in the foreground for the noise. <laughs> noise. Do you so. know that is so clever? I would never have thought when designing a garden of the yeah. noise that yeah. it, that the wind makes through plants. Oh yeah, the eucalyptus is great for it as well. It's constantly moving. It's like bamboo. You've got that what noise. What a beautiful idea! Yeah. <laughs> These are uh, black currant cuttings, and oh. some of them had already rooted in the white polystyrene boxes. <laughs> so I thought, well, that's obviously a very sort of nice growing medium for them to start putting roots out and so i've, I've planted them all oh, why not you can never have too many black currants you can't yeah we'll <laughs> be happy the peacocks will be happy the cockerels will be happy oh everyone will <laughs> <laughs> or maybe if i grow them like make their own peacock corner where they can just ravage the berries and eat everything they want yeah maybe they'll fun. leave our share alone and there's that wishful thinking <laughs> so here i've got some cuttings of buddleia uh, they're on damp paper at the moment. The body is so happy here, isn't it? It goes crazy. It is, and it's such a beautiful colour, mm. and it's like a very dark purple. I keep them damp and damp and warm until I have time to, to pot them up. Stay there, do not fall on my head. But the best thing in here at the moment, which is just unbelievable, is the November tomato harvest. Oh yes, I do insist on fresh tomatoes in November. <laughs> well, they must have heard you wow. because they are completely... Oh, this is amazing. And this is, I think, are we allowed is one? Of course you are. Sure. And they're still flowering. <laughs> Everything's a little bit confused at this time of year. We've got quite a bit of blossom. We've got uh, strawberries in blossom. The pear trees had a go, but I think they've realised and they've put their, their pyjamas back on now. <laughs> but uh, it's a really odd year. So It's going to be 19 degrees again. It's November. <laughs> That's a gift that was sent to you in Caddo at the Chateau last week. They're called peacock pearls. So they're dark. Oh. And they're like the mother of pearl. Oh pearl my on. god. Oh, look at that. <laughs> dark. I did not expect that. I thought it was a pen. <laughs> Are they gorgeous? Please excuse my revolting hands of dandelion stains. Oh, that is beautiful. You've just been gardening all day, Kirsty. I know, but um, yeah. Oh, that's got his little heart as well. Yeah, it's stunning. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, they are stunning. 
But I there's never everything. Pearls look like that. No, before. no, aren't so they amazing? Dark. And we didn't know they were called peacock pearls. I'm probably they're genuinely called peacock pearls. <laughs> oh, Finally, yeah. I like something the word peacock in it now. Now you have to find the dress to match the pearls. Brenda, when she came, brought bags and bags yeah. of dresses for us to try and see who would like what. And this. <laughs> Pink confection, which I, I mean, already I'm in love with. Let's face it, that's the best color in the world. Yeah, look at. Oh that. my goodness, that's incredible. This is amazing. Should we just put all the bags on the tables and start looking through? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. It's like a dress. I was like dressing up as a little girl. It's so exciting. Look at oh, that's beautiful. This is lovely. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. When Natty gets back. I oh absolutely yes. Oh, this is massive. Yeah. And we've got every different size here. Mm -hmm. oh. That's very nice too. That'd be lovely on you. That's a stunning colour. I like this. It feels very uh, fairy. Mm -hmm. Somehow, you know, like little woodland fairy. I love the corset top. Very nice. Oh, oh wow. That on you. Oh my goodness. Come on, Pavling. That would be incredible on you. Now that is spectacular. It's too big at the back, but I wonder if we could take it in a bit. Because the colour's beautiful. The colour is incredible. That blue is really nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. With the shoes, huh? <laughs> it matches, it's blue. <laughs> I feel like this uh, runaway uh, girls from high school movies, you know? Oh, yeah. Going yeah. to the prom and they're like, shoes like that, and they run away. I'm sure they their dreams. <laughs> I think we should garden in our dresses for now. Oh, oh yeah. That colour is beautiful on you. <laughs> and that shape. I think that this shape is going I mean, if it's already putting on properly, I think yeah. that shape yeah. is going to be stunning. Mm, I love the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually like it. Don't, I'm not, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a girly girl in there somewhere. Mm, deep down, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find something of my size. <laughs> That's a nice colour for Christmas. Garden camo. <laughs> and it's a stunning colour. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it, wow. There'd be quite a lot on show. Not like <laughs> there. You have to try the pink Huge one on. pink one. I love the top of that one. All the beading. You have to try it on. I feel like a Barbie. The oh, top looks incredible. Could I live in it, do you think? <laughs> do you think anyone would notice if I just came down and wouldn't get my cup of tea like this? Yeah. This no. is amazing. I know, I love it. <laughs> that is amazing. It's nice. It just felt a bit cool. Well, we found another one. Kirsty found this. Yeah. You think that one's for Amory? Amory. That's <laughs> <laughs> all over it, you know? But look, this one is incredibly sexy, Ooh. and I think it looks like something a Bond girl would wear. Yes. Um, I think it will only fit you. Size five, six. <laughs> <laughs> does fit you? I think so, too. I like this one, though. I love it. Well, can't it's we make it smaller? Hang on, let, let me yeah. let me show what it would be. Yeah, it would be. Like this. I like this kind of... Yes, crisscross. Yeah. It's nice. There. there we go. Yeah. I feel like a Greek statue. <laughs> that's stunning. Oh, I think that's doable, you know? It's just the zip at the back. Is... Oh, that's so yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got, it's got a... Single strap. Nice. Oh. Not very practical for the garden, but sometimes... Kirsten you do know, know that you're invited to the parties party. here, right? So... <laughs> Dresses. Look. Oh, oh wow. Oh. I'm wearing one and I want to be wearing all the others simultaneously and it's not possible. Oh yes, it's, it's like a bombshell dress. It's a tiny bit too big for me. It's a pity because that is a bombshell dress, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's it really is. Marilyn Monroe. Yes. Look at the base of this one. Wow, the beading is I love the incredible. fishtail. Love the fishtail. So we need another James Bond party yes. just for you in that. It's very nice. You may have to live in that dress. No, I can't garden it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a turn? Because the back is so spectacular. Nice. Oh my goodness. You look great. This one's a little bit, this is for a more blessed woman. And this, <laughs> <is for her. laughs> this one is too. <laughs> I love the base of this one though. I really love that. There's so much dress in this dress. It's like heavy. <laughs> uh, it's nice there. It's a tall party. How do you get through doorways with this? But That's why we've got double doors, you know. <laughs> 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 I feel very glamorous with the python print. The top is very sparkly. I know, I, it just, it's just still a little bit too big again. Oh. I just needs to come in a little. 
Yes, the pink thing. It's absolutely fine over the stomach. <laughs> but, uh, not so good up at the top. What is it? Do you know how incredibly irritating it is to women all over the world that you're wearing that, looking that good, and you've even got your jeans on underneath? <laughs> Pavlina, come on! <laughs> you look so slim! Oh, you could be a model. This, you have the perfect body. Yeah. Incredible. It looks great on you. There is no perfect bodies, but... I like mine. It allows me to eat whatever I want. <laughs> oh, no, that's the annoying thing. You eat so much as well. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. These are so great. This is fun. <laughs> you know, when I collected the figs earlier today, I didn't think through the fact that I didn't have a fig eating dress. And now I feel like Midsummer Night's Dream. It does feel like a sort of fairy dress from the woods. And I think they mainly eat figs. So this is going to be my afternoon fig eating dress. Bye bye Kirsty, I hope it fits. Let I'm us know how it goes. I'll send you a photo. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I've just seen myself man in the garden. <laughs> Great. That's what it should be. We should just yeah. start that for everyone. Yeah. Let's yeah. just do it. Let's do that. <laughs> bye, see you later. Thank you Pavlina. I had such fun trying these on Me with you. Too. I had so much fun and the thing is I've never had this experience of trying on like the dresses for prom or for any kind of occasion with my friends. I love it. <laughs> Me too. They all look amazing on you. So I think you've got it. You've chosen about four, haven't you? Yes. The short one you're definitely keeping, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, there's it's, two of them already perfect. Yes. I, I can I can Great. only wear it with the help of Maria because she had to like put <laughs> like a sock like root. <laughs> If I look a bit scared right now, it's because Philip has cooked dinner tonight. And not only that, none of us have been allowed to go in and none of us were allowed to know what he was doing. Let's go and see what he's made. He actually cooks pretty nice things for just the two of us, but I'm not sure how he's going to manage for six of us this evening. So we have bread. This is very good news because I love bread. So already I'm happy, even if there's nothing else. The bread. Did he bake the bread? No, of course not. We bought <laughs> of course not, I love that. No, of course not. <laughs> but look at the plates. They're the Heron ones, Heron Rothschild pattern plates. I love them. He's cut the top off the bread. Yeah, so that it will be easier for us to sort of tear bits out of it. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think he's been doing for six hours? It's a lot <laughs> of work trying to carve these breads, you know. This is a bit bewildering because I know I love bread and I really do love bread, but I appear to have an entire loaf. I'm beginning to think there's a surprise in here. There, I've said it. Here we go. Ooh! It's a stew. It's not a stew. It's not a stew. What, what make are the plates, did you say? They are herond. And where is that from? Hungary. So what is that? <laughs> and where are Hungary? It's a goulash by a process of elimination. <laughs> Indeed it is. Looks so good. It smells really nice. Yeah, it's actually really nice that we're having this whilst Natty and Amri are in Budapest. Yeah. So yeah. we're with them. Yeah, so we don't feel left out. This is so exciting. I can't believe you did this. I'm actually in shock. Mm -hmm. You are traumatised. <laughs> it's been a long day for Philip. <laughs> and then for wine, which I'm just going to straw for myself. <laughs> It smells very good. Thank you. It does actually smell great and it looks incredible. It's very good, Philippe. If Marie says so, I, then you I know added, you've nailed it. I added wine to it afterwards. It wasn't in the recipe when I was smelling it and I thought, mm. It's well. good. Mm -hmm. it's Antoine, good. what do you think? It's really, really good. Mm. Yeah. Uh, on a miserable day like today, it's perfect, yeah? I'm not paying anyone to say this. No, there's <laughs> not enough money so in the world to be... pay me <laughs> to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Philip. Cheers. Seriously. Woohoo! All surprised. <laughs> <laughs> now, this may seem strange, but we've all decided that it's so good and we've all completely cleared our, I would say, plates, but breads, Both. that we're carrying on using the bread for cheese. So we've got Guilin's cheese from the local goat cheese farm. I know you're not touching it, Philip, but it's good. And you had the cheese from Doreen, you said. Yo, oh, yes, we're having incredible alpine cheese. What do you think of it, Matty? Mm. I don't like to sound surprised, but that was absolutely delicious. I think Philip may have shot himself in the foot. I think he's going to be asked to cook a lot more now.
If you'd like to see exactly how Philip made his individual goulash in a loaf for everyone, he'll be premiering his video about that on his channel, Philip Janssen, straight after this one. Thank you all for joining us for another day of Leland Life, and thank you to all of our patrons, especially Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Sabrina Sawakti, Nanette Solverson, Susan Stevens, and Monty Stapora. Thank you for supporting the Chateau Diaries. And lots of love to every single one of you watching. We look forward to seeing you again on Sunday. Thank you.